Jim and Jackie, I can tell you that the ATF is now involved in this case, and they say they are aggressively going after the suspect. Meanwhile, I can tell you that some students are doing everything they can to get more attention on these crimes. Caught on surveillance, another attack on Temple University students. The video shows someone walking out of a house on Cleveland Street in North Philadelphia. All of a sudden, he goes a door down and firebombs a home. School officials tell NBC10 it happened November 15th outside its campus patrol zone. You shouldn't come to school to get your degree and worry about your house being firebombed. That's John Mangan. The Temple senior started an Instagram account a few weeks ago called Keep Us Safe Temple. It details crimes on campus. He says victims have also recently reached out to him. Seeing the crime creep in from the streets into the homes with the recent fire bombing, the three home invasions, it's really, you know, it's really concerning because now anyone can be a victim, not even if you make wrong decisions to put yourself in danger. In a statement, school leaders in part tell us we are immensely grateful that no students were injured during this incident, and we encourage all members of the Temple community to remain vigilant. Recently, some students have dealt with home invasions and robberies. A few days before the firebombing, 11 students were tied up, held hostage, and robbed at off-campus housing. Like, I'm a student here. I'm going to be here for many more years. And I feel kind of trapped sometimes at, like, on campus. I feel like I can't go anywhere because of the safety problems. You heard right there, of course, a lot of students still have some questions. We do as well. So, of course, we reached out to Temple. They told us immediately after finding out about this case, they reached out to all of the victims, offering them counseling and housing. As for Mangan, in our story, you just heard right there, he says this is all about transparency. That's all he wants, transparency about these crimes. And he continues to reach out to school leaders, asking them for a meeting on safety. For now, we're live in North Philadelphia. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.